What's up guys, Brandon here from TechFlare, back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make GoPro, or for that matter, any video footage, look cinematic and beautiful. So, I'm going to be doing this in PowerDirector. Um, I'm using PowerDirector 12, just because that's the one I have. Um, you can use, obviously, any PowerDirector above 12. You can probably even use any PowerDirector below 12. I'm going to take a video that I recorded for my Tactical Titans Airsoft channel, link in the description below. And so once you have your video, just put it in the, oh my goodness, my mouse is going crazy. Just put your video into your timeline, and I'm just going to make the video like, I don't know, a minute-ish long, just because, I mean, of course, your video is going to be longer than this, but I just want to make it shorter for test purposes. And once you've got your video in, I'm going to be using an anamorphic widescreen template for my video. Um, the link will be in the description to this picture. Um, so just save the, save the picture, and then press X here and import the file. Select the file and open it, and then drag it down to your timeline, and then once again, just elongate it to the length of your video. And now you can see that we have some black bars at the bottom, but there's still one thing missing. The colors are still not the greatest. So what we need to do is change the colors to colors that look more cinematic. So select your video and then go to fix slash enhance and enhance the color adjustment section. Check that box there. And this is the area where you're going to want to play around because depending on the video, you're going to want different settings. So in in videos where I'm in woods and things like that, dark places, um, these are the settings that I usually prefer. I like my brightness at 17. Contrast and exposure are like at 100 each. Hue, I obviously leave the same. You're never really going to change the hue, maybe just a tiny bit, um, but not a whole lot. Saturation, I'm going to move up to 135. Close enough. I'll move it down one, I guess. And vibrancy, I'm going to change to 17. Actually, no, not 17. I'm going to change it to 36. And darkness, I'm going to leave as is. Now, if you can see here, the video is a little bit um, too bright, maybe a little oversaturated as well. So I'm going to tone the brightness down and wait for that to load up. There we go. Maybe I'll, I'll move the saturation down a few percentages. Alright, I think that's good. And you can select different frames in the timeline just to get a different view on the video. See, I think that looks pretty good. Let's look at a different section. Yeah, I think that's I think that's pretty good. So this is the part, once again, where you're going to just want to mess around with the settings. And once you're done changing all those settings, just click the X in the corner here and go to the Produce tab and produce your video. And now you guys are done. So here is the finished product. Alright, whenever you're ready, I'm gonna go. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. It always helps to get likes, guys. So then I know what videos you like, what videos you want more of, and it really tells me a lot about what videos you enjoy. And also, if you want to be featured in a video, just subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, and comment something interesting in the comment section below. One person will be featured in each video, so be sure to comment down below during every video.
don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel and once again thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one peace out